join me on a tour of some of our favorite mansions on the market right now. We're starting in Wilmington, North Carolina with a really unique home. Uh, the owner custom built this to look like a church from his hometown in Ireland, but the interiors are anything but austere. Look at the backsplash in this kitchen or the neutral modern color palette in a bedroom. And of course there are modern barn style doors, very trendy in the bathroom and a gorgeous interior courtyard with a pool. Who is not a sucker for an interior courtyard? I definitely am. The south of France is where we're going to next. And I think of red clay tile roofs and stucco stone facades, but this home defies expectations. It is a postmodern design by Pritzker Prize winning architect Jean Nouvel, and it is futuristic and so interesting and different from its surrounding architecture. It took six years to build from concrete, steel, and glass, and it's really unique. And looked at this curved architecture around the primary bedroom suite. Our next home is across the English Channel, outside of London on the grounds of Eltham Palace. It's a 1860s Victorian villa, but the grounds are very historic uh, in the 14th century. This was a popular aristocratic gathering place. It was the boyhood home of King Henry VIII, not this specific mansion, but the grounds. And the home is full of modern updates. And then of course, nods to this medieval history are all over the place, like this bed and big archways. Back in the US, we have our fourth home in Naples, Florida. And it's a very contemporary design with big windows, double height ceilings. It really makes use of the light and the sunshine. The best part of this home is it's totally surrounded by greenery. There is foliage visible from every window, every room, and lots of ways to cool down, including big soaking tubs like this one in the primary bedroom suite, and of course, a enormous saltwater pool outside. Our last home is in Sagaponic in New York sunny Hamptons, and it again makes use of lots of windows to take in the sunshine. And it's a really modern interior, a steel kitchen, beautiful bedrooms overlooking the grounds, and the outside with the wood detailing really tries to mimic that classic Hamptons shingle style architecture. But of course, it is very modern. There's a fire pit outside and a tennis court, lots of amenities. Subscribe to our channel for more luxury homes.